What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide episode and today we are taking a look at the club selection eFootball Championship Volume 2 player pack selection and we're going to be starting with Casemiro. A lot of people asking me about a training guide for Casemiro. Right, I would say that this Casemiro is probably the best version that they have released, right? We're going to have a look at him in a second but he is an 86 overall starting base DMF anchorman and obviously he has got unwavering form. C rating on the player weight rating this week, but don't worry too much about that because he's also got man marking, interception blocker, sliding tackle and fighting spirit, as well as weighted pass and heading as his player skills. You've got long range shooting and acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority thrown in there as well, which does make a difference to this guy when we're looking to, do, to train him up. And he can play DMF and CMF. Now, I would say that Casemiro, this card here, is probably one of the best DMFs in the game. If you are looking at getting somebody that is a non, you know, uh, epic or legend card, such as Vieira or such as Makalele or Davids or somebody like that, I think Anchorman is a really key uh, position to have if you are looking to play, um, you know, certain formations and certain play styles, right? So I think the thing about Casemiro, especially this version of him, when we go over to eFootball DB, when we're like comparing the players here very easily, you can see that this card here, right, at his base is 86 overall, as we just said, with 23 levels. And look at the stats that he has, right? So he's got tackling, he's got aggression, he's got defensive engagement that are all in the mid 80s with the defensive awareness at 78, which is very, very nice, right? Well, this card that they released, this one up here, is slightly worse, right? So it's got 78, 82, 84, and 83. And you've got 78, 88, 84, 84, 83. So it's slightly worse, this tackling card, uh, or this tackling stat is minus two. Just slightly different, uh, but everything else is pretty much the same. And this card has got better physical contact with 21 levels. But this card that we're looking at doing our training guide on here, he's got 23 level scores. So he's got, uh, you know, he's got better stats and he's, well, he's got identical stats except better tackling uh, by two. And he's also got two extra levels with the possession uh, and team play styles all um, set as well. So this card doesn't have the team play style. So this card, this Casemiro card, is definitely the best version that they have released of him. Depending on how you train him up, obviously this DMF version of him, the player of the week, is quite strong as well. Um, and this one was quite big, was quite good as well. But I think that this card is probably the best one. And this is kind of like an all-round DMF build of him here. So we've got five into passing, six into dribbling and dexterity, seven into lower body and defending, and then two into aerial strength, right? This is probably the most well-rounded version of him. If you're not sure when I mean, you change formations quite a bit and you change sub-tactics quite a bit, I genuinely think that this guy will be an absolute monster for you. If you do have even Patrick Vieira or somebody like that and you want an anchorman, if you want somebody that's uh, a little bit more defensive and is able to just completely dominate, I know that Rodri and Fabinho as standard cards or standard versions or similar versions get a lot of plaudits, but I still think Casemiro, he's just able to intercept other balls um, and intercept passing lanes that some, some other players can't. Rodri probably stacks up the best with him, but I do think that this guy is a monster. Now, if you're just playing him as a traditional kind of DMF with a two-man DMF, I'll show you here kind of what I'm talking about. This is the version to go for if you're looking for a complete all-rounder that can bring the ball forward, that can pass, that can, you know, bully people off the ball, has got speed, has got stamina, has got acceleration, and has got solid defense stats. I think this is probably the guy to go for. He's an overall build and a complete midfielder. So that's, it. that's a similar position uh, that I would put him in. That's a very kind of good position to put him in. You've kind of got a double uh, central midfield spine there. So you've got your DMF and you've got your CMF. And that would be the version of Casemiro that I would put in here. If you are looking to be more defensive, right, and you're making him want to be an anchorman with the whole intention of um, what you'd probably be doing, in my opinion, is if you were changing formation a little bit, what you'd be doing is bringing Casemiro back as far as you possibly could. Just move this guy out of the way. So you'd be bringing Casemiro back as far as you could into the defensive midfield role. Here. Sorry, lads. And then you'd have your flat four. And Casemiro would pretty much, when you don't have the ball, he would be defending this area here. So that gap that's left there between these two centre backs would be defended by Casemiro. And then you'd have your kind of, you know, your normal other three man kind of Barcelona style, uh, Ajax style um, formation with that. And you could obviously change Ronaldo and Messi there or whatever you wanted to do. If you're going for a defensive minded version of him, 
this is the version that I would go for here, which is a lot better defensively. Like you can look at the stats here. So this is a defensive build if you're looking at him being like a third man center back and you're kind of playing like with a, a back a back uh, five when you don't have the ball and moving that, through that kind of um, counter-attack football very quickly. So you have huge defending stats here, 90 defensive awareness, 96 tackling and aggression, and 95 engagement. So the training is 5, 4, 2, 4, 4, 12. And then you've also, on top of that, you've still got decent speed, decent stamina, low pass is quite decent. Dribbling, you've got tight possession up to 72. Jump and physical contact are quite decent as well. The rest of his card is going to be complemented by his player skills and his actual playing style, which is Anchorman. And I think that that is a monstrous DMF if you are looking and you don't have an epic or a legend already got. I think that he will be a monster for you. So that is the two builds, lads. We've got defensive and we've got all round complete. Let me know what you guys think if you do spin for him. And I think he will be a beast for you. So yeah, that is it for me. I'll talk to you in a bit.